Hello. Today I will show you how to integrate to the Open Payment Platform through Copy and Pay, Payon's front-end JavaScript payment form. Copy and Pay was the first PCI SAQA compliant payment form solution, which means it is very secure and lowers the PCI burden for merchants. It is also one of the simplest payment forms to integrate to, as you are about to see. To begin, go to Payon's online documentation, the developer portal. The copy and pay integration guide, found here, shows that only three steps are needed for integration. One, preparing the checkout. Two, creating the payment form. And three, getting the payment status. I will walk you through each of these steps from a merchant perspective. To perform the integration, we will need a merchant checkout page, seen here on the left, the back-end source code, here on the right, the front-end source code, now showing on the right, and the server console, shown here at the bottom right. This example checkout page has everything except the payment form, which will go here. Now let's begin with step one, prepare the checkout. We start in the developer portal. As you can see, there are a variety of backend technologies to choose from. For this example, I will use Node.js. From the portal, I am copying the appropriate source code and pasting it into the Generate Checkout ID function of the Checkout Pages backend. Now I will make a minor change according to my implementation. The function is called Generate Checkout ID, as you can see here. Therefore, I need to rename it within the section I pasted from the developer portal. Now I have implemented the request of a checkout ID but there is no change to my checkout page. That is because we will not see a change until we complete step number two, create the payment form. Two lines of code need to be added to the front end source code. For the first line of code, I am copying and pasting a JavaScript to the front end. And to ensure the change I made to the back end shows up in the client side, I add a hash before the relevant term, which the Node.js backend shows as checkout ID in this case. For the second line of code, I must specify the form. Then I copy and paste the script like so. I am now changing the form because I want to keep Visa and MasterCard, but replace Amex with Maestro. With that done, we save our changes, reset our server, and reload the checkout page. But we can see something went wrong. It says the form action is not a valid URL. The issue is that we did not specify the shopper result URL, which is the page a shopper is directed to after the payment is processed. This is what the page looks like when called without processing a payment. It is only a static page now. To fix this problem, I need to enter my test shopper result URL like so. After that, I again restart my server and reload the checkout page. Now the payment form shows up here. Now it is time to move to step 3, get the payment status. During this step we do two things. First, add the shopper result URL which is where the shopper will be redirected after submitting payment. And second, make a GET request to the base URL and the resource path in order to get payment status. Here is how it works in Node.js. I copy the function from the developer portal and use it to replace my generate result function, like so. Now I must make a few minor changes. I rename the function request to generate result. Then I specify that the generate result requires a get parameter labeled resource path. I am also deleting the line below because it is unnecessary. Also, I need to make a change to the front end source code in order to transfer the message to the result page. We're almost there. Save the changes, restart the server one more time, Refresh the checkout page, enter test payment details, 
and click Pay Now to be directed to the Shopper Result page. Of course, merchants would probably display a different message, but this one works for test purposes. The record for integrating to the Open Payment Platform is 15 minutes, and many merchants have integrated in around 20. How quickly can you integrate? Those are the basics of integrating to the Open Payment Platform through Copy and Pay. Contact us at opp at payon.com with questions or watch some of our other videos for further information.